sure I remember from somewhere that roadrunners are simply too fast for coyotes. And where did I hear that? The Albuquerque Zoo? No way. Maybe the Hoboken Wildlife Center. Where did Martin tell me about that? Wherever I heard it, I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> Sounds kind of familiar, but I don't think I told you that. Coyotes can catch roadrunners, so watch your tail. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Deactivate! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Chris. I'm used to covering for you. Right now, though, I've got an unsuspecting mystery lizard heading my way. Hey, where are you going? I didn't even strike yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I knew that roadrunners ate reptiles, but roadrunners eat rattlesnakes? Give me that. Okay, this is easy. I'll try an awesome rattlesnake rattle and strike move to scare this hungry roadrunner away. How about this? So, you're not gonna listen to a warning. Then, strike! Oh, wow. You roadrunners are quick on your feet. What? And I definitely didn't know that roadrunners can hunt in teams. What? What? Ah! Or win! Snakes back! And forth! To subdue them! Deactivate! Uh, okay. Uh, now that hurts a little. And you said you were covering for me? Well, it would be a little easier to find that mystery lizard if I had Roadrunner powers. My turn. Here you go. Activate Roadrunner powers! Hey, guys! You feel like catching a mystery lizard? Well, you better start running, because I plan to catch them first. Okay, guys, your second half hour is up. What? Aviva, you programmed them a new creature power? Sorry, Koki. They said they would be fast. Oh, I am fast! A roadrunner can run 42 kilometers per hour, and that's faster than any lizard out here. There, a lizard. Hey, wait a second. You're not the mystery lizard. You're kind of round and chubby. Your legs are short, and I doubt you're much of a runner. And with all those beads and really cool black and peach pattern, I'd recognize you anywhere. You're a Gila monster, a venomous lizard who eats small birds and mammals. Ow. This should be a good spot to find the Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope we got here in time. Yeah, they should be coming out right about now. Mm. No sign of them yet. So now we wait. <gasps> Look, they're coming out. Ho oh, ho! Polyps! They're everywhere! Wow! They're beautiful! You mean these colorful things are creatures? They look like flowers! Oh yeah, they're animals, all right! Every one of them is a creature. And check it out! The hard, rocky part is their skeleton! See, they build a skeleton outside their bodies, and they can hide inside it, protect it, until they're ready to come out. You mean this whole reef is made of the skeletons of these little guys? That's right. Polyp skeleton built on polyp skeleton built on more polyp skeletons for millions of years. And now millions of creatures live here, in and amongst the coral. More different types of sea creatures than any other ocean habitat. Yeah, but we know these reefs are fragile habitats. And if we're going to do our annual reef checkup to make sure it's healthy, we better get to it. OK, let's get in there for a close look, guys. On it! Ah. Uh, well, uh, ooh, ooh, ah. Close enough! Ooh. Oh, bro! You just got harpooned! What? Harpooned? You have to zoom in with a microscope to see it. But the polyp shot that tiny needle-like harpoon from his tentacle. That's how they hunt for food. Hey, what are you harpooning me for? I'm not food. Ah, uh, here comes some stuff that's probably tastier than you. Ultra zoom on. That's what they love to eat. 
amphipods. See, there are the harpoons ready for launch. Ooh, he did it. He scored some lunch. He reels it in with his harpoon, and the tentacles push the little meal to his mouth right down there in the center. <laughs> wow, I like these little guys. And all this time, I thought coral was just a bunch of rocks. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that coral alone. Those fish are destroying the reef. <gasps> so that's why the coral reefs are disappearing. Those reef-eating fish. Whoa, <laughs> not so fast. They're parrot fish, Aviva, and they're not why the reefs are in trouble. Check it out. He's scraping algae off the coral with his hard beak and eating it. And he does kill and even eat some polyps while he's at it. But he's also keeping the algae from taking over and choking out the reef. Hmm. So you see, it's all balanced. Parrot fish are part of a healthy reef. Okay, that's good. Because coral reefs have enough problems with pollution and stuff without any new dangers popping up. That's right. After all, a lot of creatures depend on these guys. Without them, the reef wouldn't even exist. for you, a lynx disc. I've made lots of cats so I can whip that one off in no time, much faster than the hair. I'm almost done, super close. You sure? Promise. Okay, I'm heading back out. I hope Martin and Avalanche were able to avoid that lynx. She's still right outside. Martin, see if you can get some lynx fur while you have the chance. You guys will need it when the lynx suit is done. Lynx suit? Cool. <sighs> the last has been... Wait, no, stop! He's not from here! <laughs> I got the fur, but she's gonna get the hair. Well, I got the disc. It's done. Coming at ya! Activate Link's power! <laughs> I gotta get there first. Oh man, he got the warm suit. <gasps> Aviva, quick! We just need something, anything, to make me look like a snowshoe hare. Yes! I think I found something! Hey, Lynx! Over here! You should really stick to snowshoe hairs, not endangered hispids. Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Nice one, dude! But what are you? You never really got the better suit for this adventure! Gotcha! But don't worry, buddy. I'm a friendly Lynx. Chris, I got him! We're good! Yeah! Chris? Brother! Shh! Snow diving technique! Let's get out of here! All right, headbanger. Let's drill into those holes and have a look. Ah. Two toes forward, two toes back. Clamped on. Tail feathers anchored. Sharp hammer beak ready, and... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
at all. Aviva? I mean, Jimmy? Uh, try again. Oh, my brain's still rattling. Who are all of you? You okay, Chris? It's me, Martin. Oh, this suit's gotta be missing something. A brain just can't take all that drilling. <laughs> Aviva, check out this woodpecker body scan. Shock absorbers! That's what keeps the woodpecker from getting headaches and damaging his brain from drilling so hard. See? The spongy bone between the beak and skull and the flexible lower beak absorbs a lot of the incredible drill force, protecting the brain from getting bounced around too much. And those special feathers block the nostrils so wood chips don't fly up the woodpecker's nose. This creature's loaded with special features. Sorry, Chris. I forgot to add a few important things. It's all good. Hey, guys, look. Some bark flaked off where Chris was drilling. Clues! It worked! Hmm, that's not what it's supposed to look like. Hey, what are all those tunnels? It's almost like something was scraping around under the bark and then... <gasps> look! They dug deeper into the tree! Someone's gotta go in there and see. Oh, I'll go. No way! I'm going! Okay, brother, how many fingers am I holding up? Brain's still fuzzy. Um, uh... Four. It's two, right? Okay, you go. Ha! Miniaturize! Pick a hole, any hole. I'll pick that one. Okay, ready? Yep, ready. I'm going in. Whoa, this is pretty weird. I'm walking inside a tunnel inside a tree. Huh? Oh. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your lunch. Wait a second. It's you! You're the one making those strange holes in the tree. You're a tree eater, and I caught you in the act. The rattlesnake power discs are ready. Jimmy, catch! Energize and... Jimmy, no! <laughs> we didn't have enough power for teleportation. Sorry, I forgot. We've got 30 minutes, and then an irreversible meltdown begins. The Tortuga will be totally dead. But then, how are we going to get the miniaturized rattlesnake power disks to the Crap Brothers so they can find the Tellurium? Jimmy, you'll have to deliver them by hand. What? He looks snake bit. Maybe that's what he's worried about. Jimmy, it's your job to teleport the disks, and we can't do that now, so you've got to hand deliver them. Come on, Jimmy, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. Yay! All right, all right. <sighs> oh no! Oh my! Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Nice. Chris? Martin? Perfect timing, buddy. Thanks, Jimmy. Huh. You're welcome. <laughs> Catch you later, Jimmy. Okay, get ready. Wait, we don't want to touch this end. Rattlesnakes have big, rough scales. Oh, check out this pattern. See the diamonds? That's why this species is called a diamondback rattlesnake. Okay, now, activate creature power suit. <laughs> rattlesnake powers. Hey, let's get underground and find that tellurium. Wow, we can really get around down here with rattlesnake powers. Ooh. <gasps> this 
sprung an ambush on the squirrel and has him cornered. The rattlesnake has a squirrel in his sights. Rattlesnake vision on. With you, bro. It seems like the squirrel's growing. That's his tail. The ground squirrel's pumping blood to his tail, making it hotter and hotter, and making the squirrel seem bigger and bigger. Whoa! Whoa. He fooled him. The rattlesnake struck at the big twitching tail and completely missed the squirrel. That was a rarely seen creature moment. Let's find some new life forms. Wow, it sure did get dark out there. Yeah, very little sunlight can shine through the water this deep. We're officially in the twilight zone. I'm switching from solar power to battery power. Whoa, cool. Huh. Look at all the lights. Let's go out for a deep sea dive. Oh, I gotta check that out. Let's scoop up. What is that? Whoa, where'd that go? Martin? Martin, I'm still here. Where'd you go? I'm over here, the flashing light. Oh, okay, I can see you. Coming over. <laughs> You're not Chris. You're an anglerfish. Wow. Oh, those teeth are awesome. Some of those fangs are so big, <laughs> they don't even fit in your mouth. Wow, clever fish. Most of your teeth are tilted inwards, so it's easy for your prey to swim in, but not out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Careful, bro. She's a dangerous predator, so watch out. <laughs> You can't catch this. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. The light is actually millions of glowing bacteria trapped inside this little sack. She uses it to lure her prey close so she can catch it. <laughs> like it tried with me, but I'm way too good of a swimmer. Swimming's my thing. Martin? Can't catch this! Oh, yeah! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Where are you going? Whoa! Oh, dude! I think it wants to meet you! More like eat you! Whoa! Oh, oh. Faster, faster, Chris! Chris. Yeah! Faster! Oh, a deep sea shrimp! Perfect! deep-sea shrimp has the best defense mechanism ever. When it feels threatened, it shoots out a glowing glue that confuses its predator. While the predator attacks the glue, the shrimp slips away. Well, I'm covered in glue. Oh, I'm like a glow-in-the-dark target. Yeah, we better get you cleaned up before you get gulped down. If it eats an animal, it's right up here in the food web. This is the sad part of the food web. But look at it this way, Koki. It's how nature works. I mean, if these predators weren't around, in no time, there'd be too many of these herbivores. Soon, there'd be no plants left. And no one would survive. Everything's in balance. I guess that's why the food web works so well, but it's still sad. No! No, <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Okay, Blur, check this out. I'm injured. Oh, oh, my leg. I can't run fast anymore. I hope a predator doesn't see me. Yes, my trick is working. Predators usually target injured or weak prey. They're the easiest to catch. Ow, I'm so injured. Huh? Uh-oh, it worked, but on a different predator. A python's got a hug on me. Pythons are constricting snakes. That means they squeeze their prey until they can't breathe anymore. This wasn't exactly the plan, but I'll take it. Oh, could you please press that button for me? It's the one. 
<gasps> yes! I'm a python! Wait a second. No animal eats adult pythons. I'm at the top of the food web. Woohoo! Not so fast, Chris. We're checking something. What? Yep, it's right here. It almost never happens, but big adult pythons are sometimes caught and eaten by a super hungry lion or leopard. You mean kind of like that? Whoa, you gotta be pretty hungry to tangle with a python. Whoa, not this time. Catching food can be dangerous business for predators too. Prey defends itself, and getting a meal isn't always easy. So it's official. It's rare, but leopards and lions will tangle with an adult python if they're desperate. Wow, I better slither off and follow that lion. Gotta slide. See ya, Blur. Okay, I know a lion would eat a battery fox, and you probably have to be on the lookout for spotted hyenas too. Hey, if I could just find one of those. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to find out, but I have to finish my food chain. Ah! Huh? <gasps> Marshall Eagle! <laughs> Whoo, nice move! The old roll on your back, kick and bite defense? Ha! A battered fox classic! Hey, it's not easy being an animal when things are constantly out to get you. This veggie cleaner will make it super easy to make desserts for the party tonight. Let's see what it's got. <gasps> Oops. Done. Mmm, pumpkin pie. Try this one. Done. Hey. <laughs> Let's try the apples. <gasps> What's that? Hang on, I've got a flashlight around here somewhere. Flashlight, flashlight. I knew it was, um, <clears throat> knew it was Cokie the whole time. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, very funny. <laughs> You're not gonna get me twice. Uh, Jimmy, that wasn't us. <laughs> Must be the power generators need rebooting, but that'll take a few hours. No problem. That's why we have these lanterns anyway. Where are Chris and Martin? I'm not sure. They said they were on a top secret mission to find their costumes. Top secret? Knowing Martin, he probably wants to come as a sperm whale. I should check in. Keep going, bro. I'm gonna see if I can spot him. Wildcrats, where are you? Huh? Oh, hey, Koki. We were just out trying to decide which nocturnal creatures we want to be. Bet you can't guess. A wolf? <gasps> no. I found the wolf pack. They're just to the west of us. Okay, you're right. Wolves? Mm. Yikes! You guys are actually looking for wolves? Yeah, one of the most misunderstood animals in the forest. Some people think they're really dangerous, but they're actually pretty wary of people. Wow, but that howling is pretty spooky. Wolves howl to talk with each other. They're saying, here I am. This area is my home, my territory. Oh! Let's follow that. Whoa! Whoa! Cool. An abandoned raccoon den. This must have been a great den. It's big, hidden, and Chris. Chris. Hey, bro. Chris, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just checking out this old raccoon den I found. Uh, looks like you won't need a costume for the party tonight. You could go as a raccoon now. Hmm, not bad. Raccoons are nocturnal creatures. Good point, dude, but let's go find that wolf pack. The smell is off the charts. Lead me to ya, flower. Nectar. A kinkajou. Amazing. It's not only insects that pollinate flowers, some mammals do too. Chris, are you there? Just checking. Oh, a good sniffer to find the flower and a long tongue to lap up the nectar. Hey, let me have a taste. Uh, 
I could use that tail, too. Oh. <laughs> wow! Plants even know how to lure in nighttime creatures like kinkajous, rodents, and bats. These plants can lure in just about anything. Some even make their flowers look like another insect so that when a bee comes to attack it, they get covered with pollen. And my favorite, the ones that smell like rotten meat to attract flies. Cool. These plants know all the tricks in the book. That's it. We've got to think like a plant. Plants don't think. But the way nature designed them is smart. So if we use all their tricks, we can lure in any pollinator out there. And the more pollinators that come to the party, the more likely one will be carrying Chris. I think I know just the thing we can build. Hello, anybody out there? Hmm, the pollen is ready to be taken away. But where's the pollinator? Huh? Oh, now we've got dancing flowers? Whoa, I can't believe it. A newly hatched fig wasp. And another, and another. Oh boy, am I glad to see ya. Ha, the fig flower pollinators are born. I get it. This whole thing works for the fig and the fig wasp. The plant gave your mom these nice, safe gourds to lay her eggs in. And when you hatch, you get covered with pollen as you head for the exit hole. Does that mean you're on your way to another fig? <gasps> Wherever you're going, I'm going too. Wait for me. <sighs> Let's ride, Pollinator. Lay eggs and then die. I know, it's just how life is for lots of insects. Yeah, but she lived a super long life, bro. Four months, 4,800 kilometers. Maxilla saw more of the world than most people do. Yeah, all that, and she never made it back home. Hey, what if she's not supposed to make it home? Yeah. Maybe he's supposed to keep the journey going. Yes, nature's got know-how. They lay eggs so the babies can continue the journey home. Martin, Chris, I found Danita. I think she's killing all the butterflies. It's not Danita. The butterflies are just doing their natural butterfly thing. It's their life cycle. But we've got to rescue them so they can lay eggs and keep that life cycle going. And I've got a plan that might work. Do not die on me now. I need living butterfly barrettes. Do you hear me? Living! At least they're easier to catch now. Not as easy as you are. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me out of here! You kept trying to net these monarchs. Now it's your turn. <laughs> but I still have the butterflies. How are you going to get them? Like this? Milkweed, anyone? <laughs> Go lay your eggs, beautiful butterfly! Follow us! We know of a great milkweed patch. No, no, no! Get back here with my butterflies! Stop! Whose bad idea were butterfly barrettes anyway? Don't answer that. Ah, the thing every monarch needs to lay its eggs, a milkweed patch. And when they hatch, those milkweed-eating caterpillars of yours will have a feast. Wow, the life cycle of the migrating monarch is saved. So let me get this straight, guys. The butterflies that live during the fall migrate 4,800 kilometers to Mexico to escape the cold. And when they get to their secret forest, they hibernate. Then they wake up in the spring, just as the milkweed is starting to grow back. But they don't make it all the way home. It's their sons and daughters who will finish the trip. They lay eggs before they die that will hatch into caterpillars. The caterpillar eats and eats, forms a chrysalis, and finally becomes a butterfly. 
the sons and daughters of those original butterflies will continue the journey home. That is one incredible life story. The new generation of monarchs is here. Safe and sound and heading north. Uh, Martin, you think you're tough, huh? Think you're really ferocious. Well, the lion does. Brother, it's not you, it's a honey badger. Oh, -ho! the honey badger is tough. So tough, a lion will think twice about tangling with him. Wow. That puts the honey badger right up there with the African honeybee on the tough -a meter Tie for now. And the honey badger has a fierce sweet tooth too. He's still following the honey guide. Honey badger and honey guide. Now that is a dynamic duo. Let's program some creature power suits. I'm with you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants honey guide powers and who wants honey badger? Ooh, oh, honey, honey, badger, badger, honey, badger, honey badger! Honey badger! Honey badger over here! Did you have to ask? Hey, it's my turn for the more powerful creature. Chris, I had caterpillar powers last time. Well, a butterfly isn't exactly powerful. I should have the badger powers because that lion's mad at me for bumping him. I gotta watch my back. Yeah, but if I had badger powers, I could watch your back. Uh, guys, you're not gonna have any powers. Because the animals you have to touch to get the powers are getting away. Uh-huh. What? He is following <gasps> Wildcrats and Honey. The little bird did it. Let us right to the honey. And now it's the honey badger's turn to do his thing. Oh, nobody can be that tough. Ooh, he's gonna get so stung. <laughs> Ow! I feel your pain. No animal can survive that many bee stings. He's gonna run. I didn't see that coming. Whoa! Of course, honey badgers are members of the weasel family. And they shoot a stinky spray from beneath their tails. Just like his cousin the skunk. Except the honey badger also uses his stinky spray like a living can of bee repellent. <laughs> can his smell be ferocious? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but if it can, <laughs> this one is. Oh. He'll actually attack a swarm of stinging bees. And stand up to a lion. The, the honey, honey badger, badger is the, the toughest, toughest animal, animal in Africa. Africa. Okay. I'm a big bass. Now, where would I hang out? Hmm, I'd park it somewhere I could spot my prey. Yeah, where I could see them, but not be seen. Maybe in here. <gasps> Whoa, nice largemouth bass. Oh, yeah. Let me just tickle you under the chin. Huh? A school of sunfish. Whoa! You are the largest largemouth bass I've ever seen. And hungry. The way you gulp down Sunnies, I've got to call you Gulpa. Hi, Finn. Thanks for the win. Activate Creature Power Suit. Ah, you win some, you lose some. Finally! How's it handling? Great! I can move through the water with that twitch of a muscle. Yeah, that's the streamlining. The shapes are perfectly designed for sliding through water. But I'm feeling a little weird. I smell something. <gasps> I hear something. <gasps> Uh-oh, you might have put too much bass power in that suit of Eva. Martin's in a bass hunting trance. Uh, shiny, flashy, yummy. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. 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 I got a bite. It's a huge one. Whoa, I'm hooked. Now that. 
is a big mouth bass. I should have looked before I launched. Ugh. Keep the line tight. Way to go. Chris Crap, what are you doing here? Oh, you'll find out. Just don't lose that fish. What kind of bass is that? Martin? With bass powers? Who's tackle box? Mine. I'm Gavin. Nice stuff here, Gavin. Yeah, that perch one looks delicious. I caught a really big bass with it. That's how I won this. It's third place. I'm fishing every day all summer. Maybe next time I'll even win first. Hey, take it from a fish you just caught. You can do it. How's the firefly disc going? Just need to infuse the disc with bioluminescence. Wow, you figured out the formula for bioluminescence that easily? Well, there was one mishap along the way. Yeah, this mishap. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. But we learned that the firefly, or lightning bug, mixes two chemicals, luciferin and luciferase, with oxygen inside its belly to create a glow. That's how they do it, and how we do it, too. Excellent! Let's go rescue them! Can't rush out yet. We may be able to mimic Blinker's flash pattern, but we still don't know if the lightning bugs will follow it. Oh, it'll work. I'll sneak in there as a firefly and bust them out of jail. Great escape style! Guys. Up for grabs! Check it out, an ivory billed woodpecker! What, really? That could be the only one left. Looks like we're doing the creature rescue my way. I say we study these lightning bugs more and make sure we can lure them away from Danita by copying their flash patterns. Sounds good. Meet me there when you're ready. Activate firefly power! I'm gonna wing it! Fireflying! Landing Landing out. Out. I'm fine, guys! I'm gonna save the planet with Creature Powerball! <laughs> Why didn't it open? <laughs> uh, looks like you're too small to activate the automatic door. Thanks, dude! I knew it! Danita's made it back to her mansion in the mountains. I'll be right behind you, bro. How long until the second disc is ready? I'm gonna need about 30 minutes. I have to reset the system before I output it. That gives me time to test the pattern to see if you actually do follow it. I've spotted a firefly in the tall grass, flashing irregularly. It may be injured. Going in to see if everything's all right. Oh, yo, dude, give it to me up high. Oh, whoa, is it something I said? Wait a second, you're not the average firefly. You're not a Fatina species. You're a Voturus species. What? Clever. You tricked me. You make the same flashing patterns of the female Fatina species. Two more males in and eat them. Ah, must stop her from trying to eat me. Okay, you two, break it up, break it up. Let me at her. Martin, stay focused. You've got thousands of fireflies to rescue. Now go! To the creature rescue! 